Hello everyone, welcome to Rasayan Academy once again guys. So continuing the series of decoding the best questions of TIFR, today's topic of discussion is stereochemistry. Alright and what are we going to talk about in this topic? Let's discuss some really important previous year questions of TIFR. Now guys I have already made a lot and a lot of video on stereochemistry explaining all the good aspects of stereochemistry and uh, if you want I can uh, put up the link somewhere over here and you can just uh, visit them. Alright. Yes, let's move onwards now and let's uh, apply the concepts. So TIFR questions as I've told you already, these are sometimes asked in a very twisted manner although the questions are very simple. And I have seen that stereochemistry questions out of the whole of organic, uh, a lot of stereochemistry questions are being asked, right? So yeah, let's discuss the first question. This is asking you from TIFR 2019. Many times enantiomers give rise to different odors. For example, minus carbon given over here in 1 has a sweetish minty smell and posit plus carbon 2 has a spicy aroma like Persian cumin seeds. Similarly, plus limonene 3 over here is found in oranges and minus limonene Three, uh, 4 basically this is going to be over here is found in lemons okay so what would be the stereochemical descriptors of the of their absolute configuration so guys this question is nothing but simply asking you the rns of all of these four molecules but are you going to find out these for all the four molecules no you just have to find for one and for three why because you can very nicely see that these are enantiomers, these are mirror images. So whatever comes uh, for this, <coughs> you are just going to uh, make the mirror image. For example, this is R, then this is going to be S. Or if this is S, this is going to be R, right? So this is a very uh, simple question asked in a very tricky manner because you might not like the language. Okay, but it's very easy. So yes, first of all, let's give the priority order. So, this carbon is your chiral carbon. Alright. So, your chiral carbon is connected to three other carbons like this. Now, first priority goes to this one which is connected to an alkene. Basically, this carbon is connected to one phantom carbon, another phantom carbon if you open up the pi bond. Okay. And one real methyl group. So, this is connected to three other carbons if you can see. Okay, so first priority to this group, second priority to this and third priority to this one. Why? Because as you move onwards, the second carbon is connected to a carbonyl group. However, the third carbon is only connected to another alkene system. So an oxygen has a greater priority as compared to carbon. So the priority order 1, 2, 3, it is a clockwise rotation guys and also having the least priority group hydrogen below the plane. So you can check out the uh, video on the RNS nomenclature, right? Uh, you can just check the link over here somewhere. Now if the uh, fourth priority group is below the plane, then you keep the rotation as it is and this rotation gives you R, okay? So minus carbon, if it is R, then the plus carbon is absolutely going to be S, right? So this is your R and S combination. First one is R, second one is S. First is R, second is S, just cancel out B and D, okay? It could be somewhere from A and C. Now, in option number 3, you check... Alright, so the hydrogen is above the plane. What you are going to do is give the priority order. Once again, this carbon is connected to three other carbons, right? So first priority, this carbon and this carbon we move on to. They look similar. These are methylene groups. But when you move onwards, it is connected to two other carbon. This is connected to one another carbon. So second and third priority once again. However, the rotation in this uh, question might look like 1, 2, 3, it is clockwise. However, it's not going to be R, it's going to be S. Why? Because the least priority hydrogen is above the plane. And in the short trick video, you have already seen that whenever you have the least priority group above the plane, you just invert the rotation, whatever you get. So this is going to be S. And 
for plus limonene which is the enantiomer of this one is going to be r all right so the first question is over here one is r and two is automatically s because it is the enantiomer then third one which is the minus limonene is going to be s and fourth the enantiomer is going to be r the question is very simple the language is a little bit tricky all right moving onwards tifr 2018 question now this has been directly taken from the Claydon solution manual if you have seen already okay so there was a question with more three more options or four more options for total of five or six options right that question has been uh, you know only three of these molecules are taken from uh, that question from the stereochemistry now which of the following molecules is chiral it's very simple you first write the molecules properly let's say um let's say you have the hydrogen above and the oh below and this is another group which you are going to write as cooh why it is the cooh group written in a different format right so uh, it doesn't matter whether you write the h or oh above or below there is always going to be a sigma plane of symmetry and this molecule is always going to be a chiral right so the first one is a chiral what about the second one guys it's hard to actually visualize but uh, if you put one of these bonds above the plane and if you put one of these below the planes like this then what will happen you are going to see from this side let's say if you look at it from this side you will see that the first thing that you see is one oxygen above and this ch2 below this is your ch2 right okay this is below and then on the left hand side you see an oxygen and another ch2 now nowhere in this molecule can you put a sigma plane of symmetry you can only put a c2 axis over here okay a c2 axis of rotation right you cannot have a sigma plane of symmetry so the molecule is going to be dissymmetric and chiral okay similarly uh, so which of the following is chiral absolutely two has to be so there is only one option two right but you might be confused about the third one so let's look at the third one as well okay so first of all guys uh, you know whenever you are feeling confused about the adamantane molecule first try to apply the same concept on cyclohexane so let's say this is your cyclohexanol and you can see that there is a sigma plane which is passing through the molecule like this how do you see that okay let's say you have a sigma plane like this now first of all you want to check whether these two carbons are reflecting are they definitely they are because both of them are pointing downwards let's say this is carbon number one both of them are pointing downwards then there is carbon number two this is pointing upwards and this also is pointing upwards carbon number two so these two carbons are reflected as it is uh, by this sigma plane of symmetry and these two carbons are contained on the sigma plane so what you're going to do is you will try to visualize the same thing on the adamantane molecule it's a little bit difficult to show it over here because uh, it's a 3d structure so what you're going to do is if you want to imagine a sigma plane you're just going to hold on from here and cut from the same axis as i have cut from over here right just cut from the same line so let's say you're cutting from the same line okay let me just draw once again so let's say you are just cutting from this <laughs> line over here and this is going to be your sigma plane of symmetry if you can visualize so the sigma plane of symmetry is going to bisect the hydrogen atom into half it is going to bisect this atom into half this atom into half right over here as well as the oh into half oh is on the same plane right it's on the same plane so Carbon number one and two reflected. All right. 
so this carbon and this carbon got reflected one let's say two let's say these two carbons got reflected and from the above part you will see that these two are also reflected three and the central carbon is basically being bisected into half just like this one okay so this plane is also going to contain this carbon so if you uh, if you can visualize nicely it's a very simple question this molecule is a chiral because it also has a sigma plane of symmetry right only two is your correct answer option number b okay so guys more videos are coming up uh, just like these ones and before we move on to the next question i would like to request you all to subscribe to the channel because a lot of content you are going to find regarding the csi net and gate and also tifr and i hope it's going to be beneficial for all of you yes now moving on to the third question that we have this comes from tifr 2013 the question is asking what are the elements of symmetry present in the following molecules and which of them is chiral so once again the elements of symmetry are asked and chirality is asked so it's very obvious that in option number b as you can see so this is a more interesting option so i just directly jumped on to b so what we are doing is you can plane can just see that there is from the center of the molecule there is a c2 axis how do i know it is a c2 axis because these methyl groups are directly 180 degree opposite to each other if you just notice these two carbons are directly 180 degree opposite to each other so if you just rotate the molecule in this way you are going to find a c2 axis is there a sigma plane no there is no sigma plane because if you want to cut the molecule like this you cannot have the same carbon on the other end there is only a c2 axis all right so is b chiral yes b is chiral b is chiral and b also has a c2 axis what about a is a chiral no because this is just a methyl uh, molecule a methyl group and this side there is a hydrogen so what you can do is this carbon is tetrahedral it is going to have a, a plane which contains the hydrogen and the methyl so the plane which contains the hydrogen and methyl is going to bisect the whole molecule into half like this you can see that the molecule is bisected into half and these two carbons are reflected one and one these two are reflected as well these carbons all of them the methyl group as well as the hydrogen all of them are bisected into half by the sigma plane so it is supposed to be something like this the sigma plane if you can see all right okay so a has a plane of symmetry and it is a chiral and b has a two fold rotation axis and b is chiral so your correct answer is option number d all right guys so more videos like this uh, like these are going to come up and there are plenty of stereochemistry questions to be discussed and we are going to discuss all of the important stereochemistry questions of tifr and yes till then keep on practicing and keep on sharing and liking the video if you are really liking the content guys i will uh, see you in the next video till then uh, keep on studying guys bye everyone